There it is. The East Watcher. Now listen up. None of those guards can live long enough to light that beacon. Because if they do, this invasion gets a whole lot fucking harder. Don't drop that. How many men do you think are in there? Hard to know for sure. At least five, maybe more. To answer your question, too many to fight head on. Hmm. Is that a Beacon? harpy? Of course it is. Those golden tits are everywhere in this bloody city. <laughs> if those guards light the rope, the fire travels up to the bowl, and the whole city will know we're here. So we stop them. Aye. Alright. Entrance. We'll need to take those two out first. Come on, let's get moving. Beska. Hmm. It's nothing. Just forget it. Huh. Is it Dazor? He's dead. You gave him what he deserved. Time to move on. Not him I'm worried about. It's Croft. Croft? Oh, right. Because I hope he broke... doesn't. Yeah, it's done now. Because we didn't exactly listen to him. But if we get this shit done, I feel like he might overlook I'll that. Take him. I hope. I've got the other one. Just keep an eye on her. I don't need him to watch me. Hey, prove it. What have you heard? Just sit outside the gates waiting. <laughs> Mother of dragons. She won't. <laughs> oh, <yes. laughs> <laughs> We'll split up. One group will go high and try to climb over to the other side. What about them? That's why someone needs to stay down here. They get behind cover and shoot the men up top. Just don't let that one see you. So, which will it be? Uh, stay below, use the crossbow, go above, climb the wall. I'll stay below. Or not. Huh. I'm not comfortable with a crossbow actually. Fuck it. I'll go up. We'll go over the top. You just make sure you clear the way. But this is this means that we gotta trust on Croft having our back. Oh that was nice. Five down in total. Oh no, no. Oh no, no, no. I'm fine. It's all good. It's all good in the hood. I'm like Spider-Man. You hear that? Herself the breaker of chains. Oh, yeah! All the Death from above! Oh, right between the eyes. I think Croft got the easy job. Yeah, but we got the action, you know? It's all about the action, the blood, and the, the violence. What happened? Not important. Keep moving. Quick, the guard's on the roof. We'll take care of it. Something's gonna go wrong, I think. 
Like at the very okay, last yeah. second, we're gonna stop the beacon from being lit, something like that. Got it. Go. Alright, here we go. No, 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 no. It's too much. What? It's too much. You're ruining. I know what I'm doing. Doesn't look like you do. Oh God, the door. Did you say something? Well? I said you're a little rat. <laughs> Why are you laughing? Nothing. Just keep doing it that way. Just tell me when you score a phrase. Right in the back. You have to see how you like it. I'm surprised they really don't hear that shit. All clear down there? Jawohl! Hey! This is clear! BAM! Oh! Fatality. They're still up there. On the right. Take them out, and you'll be clear to secure the beacon. They break through. I'll keep them busy. Last two, or three, four. God damn it, we that's actually a lot. Five. Just look at them. Two men. We've dealt with worse. Let's rush them and be done with it. What about them? You afraid of a couple of crossbows? We took on the Lost Legion by ourselves. This is nothing. We end it. We can get out of here. Me, you, Croft. All of us. Don't you trust me? We stick to Croft's plan. Take care of them first. It's, right. It's not that I don't trust her. Like, if we defy Croft again, maybe he's not gonna give us the army. And I kind of want both, right? I, I, tr I showed Beska that I trusted her by letting her kill her master. But I gotta give into Croft as well for a bit. <laughs> Oh, it's rolling towards it. Oh no. Cut the fuse. Oh. Clutch as fuck. The torch. Ah, he's going to light the beacon. Beska. All out. Oh fuck no! Don't no! Don't no! Don't, 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 don't. Grab it! Grab it! And then throw it at his head. What does that actually do? I don't fucking know what this is. Do. Fuck it, we're going with it. Oh yeah! Oh. I had no idea that's what was going to happen, but you just roll with the punches. You gotta roll with it. <laughs> oh, I can't believe you did it. Croft! Croft! Oh god, don't Where's let him be dead. Whippering? Thank god. I'm not dead yet. You hear that? Sound of freedom. Here. Not to celebrate, let's fire the beacon.
Home at last. Back at High Point, I wasn't sure your brother would survive the day. He nearly didn't. I was terrified when you called Lud's bluff, but you knew exactly what you were doing. Of course and now I Ryan did. will be coming home. Of course. He'll sleep in his bed. Eat at our table. He'll be right here, where he belongs. I knew Lord would never sacrifice his son. A whitetail is a whitetail, just like a forester is a forester. You made your family proud today. My lord! Oh god, what? shit happened. What the hell? Where are the gods? Oh no. He was the betrayer? The traitor? Dahlia? What was his name? The fighter dude. The one I... Sir Royland! Didn't... Yeah, Royland. Where's my sister? Elena! Oh, Where's no. anybody? <laughs> Griff? Yeah. Wait here. Fuck. Griff has control back. I know he has. <laughs> Come on. Don't be so dreary. It was a joke. Oh no, I'm it's Ramsey. I, I should have laughed. It's Ramsey. Oh, maybe you think you can do better. Of course not. I I didn't mean to offend you. Perhaps a song instead. I hear you've written a touching song about your dead brother. Am I in it? Let's hear it, shall we? Ramsey. No. no. I won't. I want you. You're gonna get Sansa later. Just Roderick. wait. Roderick. Welcome back. State your business now. I thought you'd have more courtesy, especially after getting to know your sister. We've had a lovely time together, haven't we, Talia? Say it. Say it's been lovely. It's been... lovely. Oh, and you... God. I'm told you're a man who can't be broken. I've decided to come see for myself. Ethan was the first forester I killed. Doesn't have to be the last. You don't know what you're in for, Garrett. What you're asking my brother to do. The North Grove isn't what you think it is. Justice was for Marine to deliver, not you. But we did as you commanded. Oh, she's mad. These aren't cell swords, Asha. They're killers. Roderick! I can't believe I trusted him. I know you and my brother were in contact. Perhaps he told Things. Things that might prove his guilt. Perhaps you're not to be trusted either. Oh, you're not listening, Garrid. Shh. Oh, but I am. I am listening. Well, god damn it, that was the uh episode four. I mean every single ending has been really exciting. If I remember correctly, of every single episode, this one wasn't like a crazy cliff cliffhanger, but or really exciting towards the end. But still, this episode was really, really good. Episode four. Uh, all right, let's go over the choices. You and eighty-eight point one percent of players brought Finn along. Like, I mean, he's he got my back at that point. Like, he he basically said that yeah, um, that I was that was it was in self-defense. So I feel like taking him along was the right choice and even though they don't like each other I'm pretty good friends with Finn and I'm pretty good friends with Carter so in that sense like even if they don't like each other both of them have like a reason to be here which is which is Tuttle right Garrett Tuttle so yeah I feel like not uh, taking him with me is probably the right choice unless something something bad is gonna happen in the uh, in what's what you might call it in episode five but i kind of doubt it you and 64 percent of players maimed griff uh yeah like that's one of those moments where a fucker has been 
really annoying to you in the past like he was in episode 3 like I just thought fuck that guy and then you just had to bite your tongue and basically take the shit he was giving to you and now that you have your chance to just fuck him up you're like oh, oh this is my chance oh fuck yeah and me and 64% of the players just took that chance and didn't let go well I kinda let go because you know you don't want to kill someone in front of your mother like yeah so I stopped at some point, but I got his eye at least. You and 89.6% uh, of players kept Sarah's secret from Lord Tarek. So in the beginning, I was like, because I was basically... Um, uh, Lady Marjorie's first choice, handmaiden-wise, and Sarah was like one of the lower handmaidens. I was like, yeah, fuck Sarah. But at that point, when, when I kind of de-ranked a bit and Sarah be became more of an important handmaiden to uh, Lady Marjorie. Sarah actually still had my back every single time so I felt like yeah she's been a good friend to me I gotta keep her secret so and I feel like Lord Tarwick I don't even know who the fuck that is so I don't feel like he can do anything to me right look at him he's, he's balding like who gives a fuck about him Right, you and 32.6% of players ordered the Glenmore soldiers to come to High Point. This is probably where I feel like a lot of the, um, the, whatchamacallit, a lot of the differences is going to be between a lot of people with the choices and where, where actually a big difference is going to be made because of the fact that I took the soldiers with me to High Point is what, is why all the shit probably happened back home at Ironrath. Whereas if I left that because okay look at it this way yeah our negotiations basically it went well but it didn't go the best way possible the best way possible would obviously to have grin uh ryan with us right now and to do so i feel like you might have needed the soldiers i don't know it's it just feel like w the moment you entered high point into that particular room it felt like a hostile environment and having those soldiers there was probably good like i don't know i really gotta just check back how that would play out if i didn't have the soldiers there how the that negotiation would play out and if you could actually get it to the point that like if you don't have the soldiers there it doesn't come across as convincingly like yeah i have griff and then he's like what you have griff well i have ryan and i have 10 soldiers here you're like you can't do anything you if shit happens in that room the only shit that's going to happen is basically us dying whereas if if we have soldiers with us it's basically just going to end up everybody's going to get hurt or die or whatever so in that situation nobody wants to really trigger uh, pull the trigger because then it's just going to be an all-out bloodbath which both really want to avoid i think but it comes at the cost of whatever happened at iron wrath because the only thing that we saw was um was ramsey basically but w we don't know what happened to griff whether griff is still in the dark cellar whether where sir royland is where any of our soldiers or people or whatever are so i don't know what happened it, it, it just feel, felt weird. Everything, everyone was gone and only Talia and uh, Ramsey were in that in the, the biggest room. So, we're going to have to see. But in the previews, it seems like uh, shit is going to go down in episode 5 as well. It seems like, I mean, I'm usually in like the highest percentage with all the choices that I make. But in the last one, I'm actually in the lower percentile. You and 23.1% of players allowed Bershka to kill the Slave Master. This makes me feel like a lot of people just don't really care about Beska that much. But I, f I consider her a friend to wh whatever character I'm playing. Asher, right? Asher, yeah. I consider her a pretty good friend. I mean, just at the beginning, you could kind of see the chemistry that they have. Just like, they've been through a lot of shit together. They were like, what were they? Thieves together or whatever. Burglars, bandits, whatever. So, you imagine they go way back and even though they might not know that much about each, each other's personal lives and stuff you'd still think that even though if if the same thing were to happen to Beska she'd be in a pickle then Asher would basically do the same to her uh, help her as much as possible and I feel like Beska is doing the same as well even if she w didn't want to right she didn't want to go through all this she, she didn't want to go back to Marine but she still did it for us and I feel like after all that she 
she has done for us and after all that we've dragged her through after everything that we almost kind of forced her to do that we at least owed her to owed her this you know to her opportunity to have some sort of redemption some sort of justice that she has given herself i mean at the end you saw khaleesi was pretty upset like yeah justice weren't yours to give it's f it's for the people of uh, for the slaves or, the, or whatever but and i kind of agree with that but i mean it's just one slave master although it sets a bad example for the rest i guess but still it's just one khaleesi can't you overlook it like come on anyway yeah this was it An exciting episode indeed. One of the best uh, so far, and this is episode 4. Most epis most Telltale games actually only have 5 episodes, but Telltale games has 6, so... And it's supposed to, at the end, um, coincide with where the series is going to be for the people that follow that. So we're I feel like we're getting pretty close to that as well, so... It's going to be very interesting. I'm up to date with both, so... It's going to be a lot of fun and I'm definitely looking forward to episode 5. So let that come very, very soon. Uh, Borderlands, Tales of the Borderlands should come pretty soon as well, the next episode. Not sure when that exactly is going to be, but when it comes out, you bet your ass I'm going to play it. But this is it for this episode of Game of Thrones. So thank you very much for watching. Please like and subscribe for more and I'll see you in the future. Peace.